So it is the first night of our grocery budget challenge and I'm going to share with you what I'm making for dinner. So yesterday was actually my husband's birthday so we celebrated by eating steaks and shrimp and stuff like that. So we actually had two whole steaks left over which is pretty sweet because that doesn't leave a lot for me to do for dinner. So we're actually going to use those to make like some steak hibachi for dinner and um, so I'm actually going to put together just a fried rice. But I um, am making a ton of this fried rice because tomorrow night I'm going to recycle the fried rice. We're going to have another Asian inspired night where we have just some chicken thighs that are all cooked up with some like teriyaki like sauce on them and then I'll turn it into a chicken fried rice. So super easy, super simple way to recycle and not have waste in with your leftovers. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you just the process of this. It's super easy. I've shown how I made fried rice like several times. All it is is a pot of brown rice over here, which actually looking at it, maybe we didn't make enough. I might have to add some extra rice tomorrow. But I also have two bags of frozen carrots and peas and about one onion cut up over here. So I'm going to get busy making the rice and I think I'm going to heat up the steaks in our air fryer just to get them heated up and then slice them up and throw them in and that's how we'll do it. All right guys, so this is so super easy. So I've already made some brown rice. It's sitting over to the side in a pot. And here I just added a little bit of avocado oil and a little bit of butter. And I'm gonna throw in two bags of frozen peas and carrots along with one onion chopped up. All right, so while this is sauteing really good, I'm gonna take a little bit of tamari and put it on the top of these. Normally, I actually use coconut aminos, but if you wanna use soy sauce, liquid aminos, tamari, any of those things, this is when you want to add it. All right, so once everything gets really nice and hot and your onions start to get translucent, then you wanna add in your rice. You do not have to use brown rice, I just prefer to use it. Um, and so I just put it all in there and then stir it all up and let it cook a little bit more. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. And so at this point, the rice is almost done. And so I took out those steaks I was talking about and this awesome sauce that I get from Trader Joe's called Suiyaki. And I just popped them in the air fryer and warmed them up that way to get them ready to slice up and put on top of our fried rice. Now at this point, what I do is I make like this division here in the middle of the rice so that I can cook the eggs. I don't like to mix the wet eggs into the rest of the mixture because it just doesn't cook right and the texture gets weird. So I make this little well here in the middle and that's where I put my eggs and cook them and once they are cooked, then I mix it all in together. All right, so my steaks are all heated up and ready to slice up to put on top of our fried rice so that we can have dinner. All right, so dinner is all done. So I threw some broccoli in the, some frozen broccoli in the air fryer as well. And so this is our dinner. All right guys, so it is the second day of our grocery budget challenge and today we are gonna do like I said last night, which is we're gonna recycle that fried rice. I've got some chicken thighs that have been marinating in just like a mixture of this amazing sauce from Trader Joe's. It's soyaki. It's so good. Um, so I put it in there last night. It is in 
this and I am actually just gonna pop these into my air fryer and cook them in there and slice them up mix it into the fried rice and throw the fried rice back in my pan and get it all warmed up and that's dinner <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I love this air fryer. It is so versatile. Don't let the word fryer trick you into thinking that it actually fries your food. It gives the texture of fried food without the greasiness and the actual oil. So I decided to cook up some cabbage to add to this just for extra vegetables and because it needed to be used up. And here is the chicken once it came out of the air fryer. It had, oh my goodness, it was so good. It had like crispiness around the edges. It cooked it so perfectly. And again, this is just boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I had marinated in that soyaki sauce overnight. So here is our dinner for day number two. It is delicious. I've already snuck a bite. All right, you guys. So it is the next knot of the challenge. I need to grab an onion real quick. But I've got two. That's a small bag. And then this bag of frozen peppers out of the garden this summer. And I am going to use two containers of this sausage, we get it at Costco and it is kind of a staple for our family for quick fix meals. So I'm just gonna cut these up, slice them up, and then we just saute them with peppers and onions in um, our cast iron skillet. And then I have two bags of our okra out of the garden this summer. I'm gonna throw those into our air fryer after I toss them in a little bit of avocado oil and put some Himalayan salt and pepper on them. And then I'm also gonna do a couple of cans of this corn um, for dinner tonight as well. And I may actually pull out another vegetable. We've got some asparagus that is like um, really close to getting too squishy at the ends. So I think I might, we might have just a lot of green vegetable with our dinner tonight. But this is what I'm making. Basically, it's most it's mostly gonna be vegetables if I make the asparagus with it as well And then just the apple chicken sausages. So that's what we're having tonight All right, so it is time for dinner. We've got some asparagus the sausage onion peppers and onions the corn and the delicious okra All right, you guys so it is Thursday yeah. Oh goodness, day four of our budget challenge. I'm gonna show you what we're eating tonight. We are having just pasta with some meat sauce tonight, along with, whoops, can't get the lid on, along with just some spring mix salad. I cut up some cucumbers and I washed some tomatoes and we've got uh, Parmesan or this Italian blend of cheeses. And then I made some honey balsamic vinaigrette this is just a fourth of a cup of olive oil, um, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, um, and just a little salt and pepper, and you just shake it up really good. I, that's what I do. I shake it up in a mason jar really good, and it ends up looking like, looking like this, and it's really, really good. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight. So we're making breakfast for dinner tonight. <laughs> Asher's manning the griddle here. However, our pancakes are a little bit different tonight because we ran out of milk. So we just used water in the place of milk. So they look just a little bit different. Well, that's got bacon crumbs on it, but <laughs> they look just a little bit different this time, but they're still good. So it'll It'll probably taste a little watery though. Sophia is in charge of their eggs tonight. She's becoming an egg master. So we already have one in the oven, but tonight me and Miss Lily are making homemade pizza. So we are getting ready to work on another one. So I will um, drop the link to this pizza dough down below. But we are gonna do our homemade pizza night tonight. Right? Yeah. Are you excited? 
All right, so this is Saturday night's dinner. Delicious, I'm excited to dig in. So for Sunday night, poor planning on my part, I ended up at the grocery store spending a little extra money to get some ingredients to make Super Bowl food. So I will add that into my grocery budget totals in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a blessed day.